Best smash burger in fast food. So says the Jack of the Box menu. Let's go find out. Let's do it. Well, uh, we're going to yeah. do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ha. Ha. We're gonna do it so you don't have to. Here we go. Alright. We got two different smash burgers. He got the bacon. I got the original. And you know we got that spicy good good sauce. Oh yes. Some buttermilk as well. Maybe some real paper plates too, huh? You know, the more calories you burn, the more calories you can intake. That's my excuse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man, we on this fast food shit. I guess I, I should give you guys a cross section of it real quick before I eat it. Yeah, it looks nothing like, the, burgers, for real. Looks like, nothing like the, the picture, but these are some fatty smash burgers, though. Right. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, man, I mean, it's it's definitely... You don't got lettuce on it. It doesn't come with lettuce, so you yeah. might want to get that. I well, see some little juiciness back here. They got some grilled onions in this. They need some sauce some or anything. Oh, I got the your spicy good in the, the ranch in there. I'm going to try it without the ranch. Well, of course, I'll try it all natural. Um, the Chris Tucker that we got now is Epstein Island Chris Tucker. Oh, oh. Not Smokey. Oh, Lord. You don't think they asked Chris Tucker to come back in the second, in the Smith, in the second Friday? Chris was allowed to make the decision. At the time that this is happening, Cat Williams is known for smoking weed. Willie Nelson is known for smoking weed. Right. Snoop's known for smoking weed, but none of us is really known except Willie. And I'm saying, Chris Tucker didn't want to be the poster child for smoking weed. He don't smoke weed like that. Right. He in the church. He Michael Jackson's best friend. Christmas. Michael Jackson called him Christmas. You ever met a man that gave you a little nickname like that? No. Mm -mm, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> oh shit! He said this Epstein Island, Chris Tucker. <laughs> Yo, I didn't think about it like that, bro. Like there is that different level of, I guess, connections or like you know they say, A list, B list, C list. Like who's really? Yeah, not initially when I saw the whole. Cat Williams interview. I was like, bro, why is he hating on everybody, bro? Like, but also these big dick deviants have been getting this <laughs> before, so. Hmm. Nice brioche bun. Mm-hmm. Nice and soft and melts right into the burger. Burger is juicy. That cheese on there. And that pickle crunches, crunch chops it off. I'm not gonna lie, you like I'm a little biased because I made Smash Burger earlier today. Oh, yeah, this ain't shit compared to that. But the pickle's a good addition. Like, I didn't have pickle in my shit. I had bacon and grilled onions. And That's what I'm looking for is the onions. I don't get that. Are there onions in this? Mm-hmm. I have grilled onions. Like, okay. I have four grilled onions in my <laughs> Four grilled onions? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, these these this is one of the thicker smash burgers I've had though. I like the thickness of this. I mean the patty is it's fast food, right? I, but it's good for fast food. I'm not gonna mm -hmm. lie. Because they did say this was the number one burger in fast food mm -hmm. right now. Well and I'm guessing like that's limited as well, right? Like this is versus in and out and like too? in the first two weeks of a burger being released now. Right. Is it good marketing? I mean, this is good as fuck, bro. Let's try it with the buttermilk. I put buttermilk to on Oldsman cheeseburger, Oldsman bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> that just makes it more fire. So, mm -hmm. I imagine this will do the same. Uptown Man. Records oh, started with is. five people: Andre Harrell, I'll be sure, Heavy D. And Puffy and Kim, him. she was Andre's personal assistant. Kim is dead. Heavy D is dead. Andre Harrell is dead. 
The only two left are Puffy and Al, and Al almost died. Isn't that interesting? You want to know what they all had in common, though? They were all writing tell-all books. And Al B. Sure was working on the documentary of his life. And then he goes into a coma. Has Puffy ever been in a coma? Has anything happened to him? It's too many coincidences. Fuck you, honeycomb. We gonna get you and your little dog, too. Run as fast as Cassie did. <laughs> I don't know who she is either, but that just kind of gave me some the chills. A little bit. Yeah, no, I, I've seen this clip before. She was like one of the first people I've seen, like I've talked about all this dirty shit after mm. And On the original whistleblowers. Like I didn't know who she, I didn't, at the time, didn't look into who she was or anything like that. It is a coincidence, but it's, it is a weird coincidence. But is that enough to be like... No, nah, because they just name associates of him that are dead. Right. Like, there's plenty. You didn't even say Biggie. Like, he has plenty of associates that are still alive, too. But he has a lot of dead associates, though. Right. I, I mean, in Heavy D, like, come on, dog. Like, of course that dude. That was, that was Kevin <laughs> Ryan. That's like saying, bro, like, man, those mysterious men. Big Plan died of a heart attack. Well, it was hella mysterious. <laughs> Not to be insensitive, but, you know... No, that's crazy, bro. We just tell them the truth. That's all. We just tell them the truth. Yeah, to be honest, we had an intensity because you know, rest in peace, yeah, dad. But let's be real. No surprise here. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I ain't gotta do it. You did, it, so I don't have to. Mm -hmm. Serve something else. Yeah, it's good with the spicy, the fries. I just man, this bacon is even good too. But I did like the uh, the nacho cheese sandwich they have. But that's, I think that was at Wendy's, though. Mm -hmm. Wendy's, that shit was him. They might be giving them a run for their money, though, man. Like, this is some fresh-ass lettuce, bro. Maybe they did grow it outside the drive through <laughs> uh -huh. Go get it while you can. It's juicy, it's fast. Make sure you work out at least one time during the week. Is it economical? No. The meal where we live is 15 bucks. Right. And this burger by itself was eight. Yeah. Really nine, because it was like eight sixty something. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. But at the end, I mean, 20 bucks for a meal, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at this burger either. You could spend 20 bucks on a way worse shit. All right, what's your favorite? Fast food burger, dropped out shit. Right now, this is it. Double quarter pounder at McDonald's, this. Ultimate cheeseburger at Jack, this. Baconator, this. But you're going up against all of them? I'm thinking this is it, bro. <clears throat> Damn, this goes over a quarter pounder. I know you like quarter pounders a lot. So. Mm hmm. But they've just been sloughing, bro. But it's just maybe it's the one I'm going to, the McDonald's. Mm -hmm. You know? This is him. I call no false advertising on the number one fast food burger right now. What do you got, G? No, this is this is solid, bro. Like, I don't know that I would get this over a Big Mac, just because I like the taste of a Big Mac more. Okay. But like, if I, we're just talking about burgers, like the the meat is better. It's just crazy to say, right? It's just eating real. Like, yeah, who knows? Mm -hmm. But. We're not worried about that right now. <laughs> no, exactly. Like, what's real anymore, bro? We'll be right back. Maybe. That's, yeah, no, right? And uh, appreciate y'all. Peace out. Much love. Uh -huh.